everybody? I just want to do a quick video on a fascinating divorce case in New York, at least fascinating to a divorce lawyer. Uh, and I think it has a couple of teaching moments in it. There was a case recently where a spine surgeon married a woman about nine years his junior. And um, in, they got married in November of 2015, I believe. And he f didn't find out through the course of the marriage that she was uh, selling herself to other guys for money. She made hundreds of thousands of dollars, I guess you could call it prostitution, during the course of the marriage. So when he found out, he filed to annul the marriage, which would mean what? If he got the annulment granted, there's no marriage, so there's no divorce. So as a divorce lawyer, I was fascinated. I think it was an excellent strategy. Uh, I found out also that the case settled recently, which doesn't really help everybody that comes after him. The way that a lot of laws develop are either through statutes that are written by the state le legislature or, just as importantly, through appellate cases. So if he filed to have his marriage annulled and he lost and he had to go through the divorce process, he could appeal. And if there was an appellate opinion that overturned that, it would have a huge ripple effect. So here's the point of the video. This guy is smart. You know, you can't be a surgeon or a doctor without being smart. And he wasn't able to vet closely or at least closely enough to find out that his wife was making about 700 grand over the course of the marriage uh, catering to other guys' desires. Wow. What does that mean about you? I hope that means that you're going to vet extra carefully because if this guy couldn't detect it, you better look out and really vet for a long time and make sure. The other thing is, you know, maybe he was blinded by her physical beauty and um, she was very convincing and he just did not want to see what was obvious. And that happens a lot. But the important issue through the lens of a divorce lawyer was, was this guy going to get an annulment uh, or did he have to go through the divorce machine? If he got an annulment, it would create a humongous slippery slope because it might open the floodgates to other litigation around, well, what's really grounds for annulment? Usually uh, when people ask for an annulment, they get married uh, maybe in a quickie wedding in Las Vegas and realize, this, I was intoxicated or I just didn't do the right thing. This is not what I wanted. But a five-year period of being married and then asking for an annulment, that could have been a case of first impression if it got granted. And I would have loved to have seen that. Again, the problem is, let's say you marry someone and they're five foot seven, 135 pounds. And then five years later, they're five foot seven and 200 pounds. Is that grounds for annulment? It's not what I thought I was gonna marry. And um, she promised me she was going to work out and the person becomes just disrespectful and the situation becomes untenable. Is that an annulment situation? I don't know. I don't think so. That's a divorce situation. But this guy's case was so extreme that uh, part of his strategy, it seems like, was to file for an annulment, which I think was a brilliant idea. Now, the case settled. So we don't know exactly what they agreed to, but he got... He got a lot of leverage, probably, by filing uh, for an annulment, and uh, I applaud his attorney for that. So what's the point of the video overarching? Vet your butt off, okay? I'm not sure how somebody could miss this going on, but I guess anything's possible. Again, he could have been blinded, but uh, hopefully he's learned his lesson, and uh, he'll, he'll check out some content on the, on the Internet to help get them wised up around these issues. Like, comment, share this with someone who needs to see it, and be careful out there.